this chapter we are going to look at uh, arrays uh, but before going arrays i am going to uh, just move back into a revision of the loop so the for loop is seen request first entry uh, and uh, for each entry control of finite loop can create skipping condition expression a condition expression can have multiple expression like an addition and updation the second type of loop is while loop uh, which test the condition first and if the condition is true then only do the things so uh, Uh, see is uh, third loop generation is do while loop is an exit control loop it test condition the break is used to skip the particular part of the program or uh, the another jump statement continue is so break statement instead of forcing termination process control is jump at the beginning of the loop go to statement is another jump statement which force program control to jump immediately to exit statement elsewhere so here for loop while loop so going back to string which is our uh, this time so string advantages and types one dimension two dimension array declaration And dimension to our access element. So arrays are located in memory in strictly continuous form. The simplest form of array is dimension array, which is list of variables, some data type. So name of the array a data type integer, number of elements pi, values in fixed uh, a a two a three and location. Advantages of array: only limited number of elements, particular is is required. Uh, now uh, consider it uh, if we require hundred integer type variable is above the approach. Array elements can be accessed using index. The following are the design manner. Types of array: one dimension and two dimension. Print F and D. So far, one dimensional array. Now, one dimensional array uh, can be given a variable name uh, such that the variable is called one dimension, like lump by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Like for two dimension array, we have two items. So marks four, five. You have multi-dimension arrays. So include void main scanf slash d and then printer scanf. So then you have character array. Just as group of character can be uh, stored in integer, group of character can be stored in a character array. The string uh, Constant and one dimension array of the character stack is different. The ASC value is different. Uh, value of 48. So remember that at the back end, uh, even uh, uh, these things are stored as uh, array. So that that is one thing. Now array declaration. So float height 50, data type size one, size two, and so on. Array initialization. An element of an array can be assigned in the same way as ordinary variable while they are declared. Given below are some example: static integer num6, static integer n, static float press. Till the array elements are not given, they are contained garbage. So the array is reduced to zero. Two-dimensional array. Two-dimensional array is assigned by a list of initial values and closed by braces. Static integer table two three. The syntax of the above commas are required. Multi-dimensional array. Access the element of an array. <laughs> One array is declared. Individual array can be referred by using subscript or index numbers. The number of specified the element position array. All the elements of array number from zero. Number five is actually the sixth element of the array. Consider the program given one. The sixth value is array number. Now to read the uh, values from this array, we will again use loop to access all the given program segments. Then you have count equal to zero. Count is smaller than count plus plus. Print f slash and uh, slash and percent d value is equal to num count. Data can be inserted into array by treating the, the array element just like any other variable. Each element of the array has memory address. The following program prints array main. So include uh, void uh, printer integer all main. So one dimension is subscript where array is accessed. So it's called subscript or index. So that was very quickly about array.